Hi, welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Today I'm going to do a follow-up video to the 1794 AENT Series B Remote I.O. Adapter Module for Flex. Now here's one here, and this is one of three that I've recently received. And as you can see, I've got a little red label on it. One of these switches is damaged. Someone has taken um, possibly a pen or a drill bit or something, and rather than very lightly moving it, they've jammed it so hard that they've destroyed the, one of the switches. So now, um, this particular module, I can get it set to 108, and that's where it's staying. To fix this, I have to take them apart. Now, what I'll do is I'll swing around here, and uh, here's a set of switches I've taken out of one already, and I'll show you how all this goes together and what's involved in rebuilding them, which is eh, a fair bit of work. So anyhow, we'll be right back. Um, hopefully uh, this goes well. Okay, so here's the three damaged modules that I've got. Um, this one, the center switch, only counts in the up direction. This way, one, switch number three is broken, and this one had uh, the center switch on the top, which is the, down to here, the down count, which is hard to see in this, the way this thing keeps auto-focusing on us. Anyhow, um, these are the three Omron switches, and we'll just kind of zoom in a bit, and... Uh, they're the A7D series of Omron switch. They're a BCD 5 pin common and 1248, which is BCD. And uh, they're stacked together. They come apart like that. And they clip together. So to get them in and out, you have to unsolder them from the board at the back here, right in here, and pop them out. Takes, you know, it took me a better part of half hour or so to get it all figured out to get it out of there. And then you you have to get new switches, which I don't have right now. I've got to get them ordered from a reputable supplier. And uh, solder them back in and get them uh, tested out. So, like I say, this one here and get it in the right spot. You can see at the top on right here where someone has used, I'm not sure what, and it looks like something hot in a way and really damaged that switch. So it's, it's completely shot, but you can't get, because of the way the board is, you have to take all three out at the same time. This one and this one are the same thing. I have to take and completely rebuild, take them apart, and rebuild them. And you have to be, like with anything part of this flex stuff, you've got these little clips all over the place, and you have to be careful taking them apart, because if you're not careful, you can snap these little hooks. You see most of the hooks are pointed out, but a few of them are pointed in. So it's it's made to clip together and stay together. It's not meant to be repaired, but it is repairable like most stuff with Allen Brad. So there we go. Um, that's what I've got to do, and that's what happens when you damage a switch. All of the modules that I sell to my customers, I take and test every one of these switches going all the way one direction, all the way the other direction. That way I know that all of the switches work when I send it out to my customer. So, once I've got um, a set of replacement switches, I will uh, do a, a separate video on what's involved, on putting them back in and uh, putting the module, uh, testing it and then putting the module back together. So there we go. So, please be careful when you're... Uh, changing your base address using the Series B AEMT module. Thanks a lot. Come back anytime. Subscribe if you'd like. Thank you. Bye.